when the fuck is he actually gonna fight? Um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of General Jerry Channel. Um, I've heard news right now that fucking CM Punk is not fighting in 2015. Um... Like, listen, uh, I have not really talked about this in massive detail, um, and I'm just gonna fucking do it now because I am honestly, I think it's fucking ridiculous, to be honest with you, and I understand that he hasn't fought professionally before, but fucking, is, is UFC just signed him just for the fucking brand now? It's getting fucking ridiculous, like, every time I go on his, like, Twitter and shit, and I'm on the news, CM Punk's talking about WWE, he's, you know, and, listen, I love CM Punk. You know, when CM Punk was around in WWE, WWE was actually fucking interesting. But, the fucking guy has not fought anyone. And, I, you know, we've been waiting for ages, ages and ages and ages, and eventually, no one gives a fuck no more. Fucking 2014 was when he announced it. It's 2015, he's still not fighting. He signed with the UFC and hasn't fucking fought, not once, in two years of fucking signing with a fucking company. It's ridiculous. I'm sorry, I cannot defend him and defend what UFC are doing. It's an insult to fans that, that... That were invested in CM Punk. Let's get into this fucking horse shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm angry, but I fucking have to say this. CM Punk's MMA debut was not announced in, U in UFC's big uh, launch event on Friday. The event featured all the UFC biggest stars and confirmed a wide range of fights for the next six months. But there is no mention, no fucking mention of CM Punk. It almost certainly means he won't be fighting in 2015, and it's a fucking given. And probably not in the next few months, so this isn't like, okay, so Jerry, he's probably fighting in like, Jan that's what I fucking thought. I thought he was fighting at the end of 2015, or January 2016, or February. No, this, this guy isn't fighting till mid-2016, and even that is a big maybe. It's a big maybe. It almost certainly means he won't be fighting in 2015, and the news coming out that he won't be fighting till mid-2016. If Punk had been already in a fight, the company would have tried it, and with the possible buzz um, at Go Big. So, you know, they have a golden... CM Punk is what is always talked about. No mention of CM Punk. He's doing the Q&As. He's talking. He's bashing. You know, there was a few idiotic fans that asked him a few stupid questions. But he hasn't fought anyone. He hasn't fought one person. He's zero and zero and he signed with the UFC. Okay? This is ridiculous. Stemming from his... um. Uh, inability to get a fight this year after he originally said he was aiming to debut in late 2015. Some fans are speculating that things aren't going well for him in training. I've been hearing he's been knocked out. He said that his striking game's good and listen, you can talk about that whenever you've signed with the UFC that's absolutely fine but you need a fucking fight. You need a fight so that people can judge it. Otherwise it's just gonna be like Oh yeah, CM Punk signed with the UFC. Oh, who did he fought? Um, he hasn't fought anyone yet. Fucking really? This also uh, concludes an, in in an increasingly less active Twitter usage from usually a vocal punk. The fact is, MMA is a tough world. Nearly all UFC fighters have been competing for years. CM Punk taking his time is probably the best thing to do, but the UFC are making less and less sense. Um, when they first when they first signed uh, Punk, he was a major name coming off um, a, uh, obviously a WWE run, but it's now almost two years since he left WWE, and his worth uh, and his worth is constantly decreasing. I agree. I agree. You need to fucking capitalize on that shit. And, 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 you know, and I understand he has not fought, even people were questioning him signing with the UFC, but, good fucking lord, he hasn't fought anyone at all. 
I would have. That's why I was waiting to see at UFC's uh, Go Big launch. I was right. Obviously, at CM Punk, you know, they'll either say he signed and he's going to be fighting in January. That was the most I thought. Now they're saying mid two thousand sixteen. What happens if he doesn't fight at all? What I mean, it's a waste of a signing. I don't know. Honestly, and I hope... I hope... It, and I've said this on multiple occasions. I want CM Punk to do good. I don't think he's going to win like a belt or anything. Or or like a, a, a championship. I don't think that... He, like I said, the guy's never fought anyone. I just wanted to see what's he like in the UFC. Um, in the octagon. What's he like. And we have not seen it yet. And this man is signed, what, 2014? It's been nearly, what... Two years now, according to this news, mid two thousand six. That means he has he won't have signed. He would not. He signed with the UFC and hasn't fought in a in two and a half years. Most MMA fighters will be fired by then. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. But what I'm hearing, he's not doing good at camp. I heard he's been knocked out a few times, and that's okay. You know. Hey, you know, um, he's brave enough to fucking do this thing. Well done. You know, he's brave enough to do this thing. But when you're fucking, you know, not fighting till mid-2016, that's when a lot of fans have to ask a lot of questions. But, ladies and gentlemen, enough of me fucking going ballistic. Guys, this is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out. Hi guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to take that time to subscribe. Um, I cover all aspects of WWE backstage news. I also do reviews of Raw, TNA, and we also do full live coverage of the upcoming pay-per-view, Night of Champions. So if you want all that in your subscription box, all you gotta do is take that time to subscribe.